I don't make a sound when I stray. You better just run for your life. All right, guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to kick things off with some neck mobility. So as you can see there, we're going anti-clockwise and then clockwise with the neck rolls, really trying to loosen up that neck, which is really important if you're someone that sits at a desk all day and looks at a screen. That's going to be really helpful for you. We now move from left to right. So we're moving the neck slowly from left and to right, not jerking, and then go forward and backwards. Next, we've got an upward dog. Now, this is a fantastic full body exercise and mobility movement. And really what this is going to do is open up the abs, as you can see there, and also the lower back. So I'm just putting my hands out there, trying to keep them in line with my shoulders, and then just looking up towards the ceiling. That's really going to give a great stretch in the whole body, but mostly the abs and the lower back. Next, we're going to do some shoulder extensions, and these are fantastic to open up the chest and the shoulders, especially if you are someone that bench presses a lot and does a lot of chest and shoulder exercises. This can actually really help mobilize the upper part of your chest and the delts, and it's just a fantastic exercise to help improve your overall posture. Also, if you're sat at a desk all day, this one's going to be really useful. Next up, we've got a child's pose. So with this one, we wanna sit our bum onto our heels, as you can see, and then slowly creep the hands forward whilst keeping our bum on our heels. This is a great exercise to really open up the lats and stretch out part of the back. Just make sure that bum stays stationary on the heels and then slowly creep those hands forward. Next up, we've got some reach throughs, and these ones are fantastic for opening up the back and also the shoulder. So as you can see there, we start on our knees uh, with both our hands on the floor, and then you wanna push one hand through, just like that, and make sure that your shoulder is kind of on the middle of the mat, uh, really getting a stretch within those lats and also your shoulder. Next up, we've got table twists. So you wanna put your arms out like that, put your basically hips and feet at a 90 degree angle at the top and then just bring them to one side. Hold in there for a few seconds, back to the middle, keeping that right angle and then back down to the other side. Key with this one is just try and make sure that the top of your back is on the mat. So moving on to lower body and we're going to kick off some scorpion kicks. Now, if you've ever done this exercise, it's absolutely fantastic for opening up your lower back and really priming your body before you do any squats. So I love doing this exercise before a leg day and it's really going to help open up that back. If you can see there, I am struggling a little bit for room. So you want to make sure you've left yourself kind of a foot to the left or a few feet to the left and a few feet to the right to just make sure that you can really open out and get that heel as high as possible. That's going to ensure you really open up the back and make sure that it's nice and mobile. Next up, we've got a lying glute stretch. So essentially what you want to do with this is bring one knee over to the opposite hand, lean forward and then put some weight into your forearms to feel the stretch in your glute. As you kind of put that force into your elbows and lean forward more, you're really going to feel that pull onto your glute which is a fantastic feeling once you've um, been through it a few times it can essentially sometimes be a little bit uncomfortable but once that tension eases off and you feel the stretch it's really fantastic trying to aim for 15 seconds on each side here to really get a good stretch Next up is a lying quad stretch. So you wanna lie down like you're kind of sunbathing uh, and then basically get that heel up towards your bum, pulling up on the top of the ankle to try and stretch out that quad. Essentially, you wanna kind of keep those knees together as well, just to ensure that you can get that stretch in the quad and it's not coming through the hip. If you want to, you can also prop yourself up on the side of your forearm like this, if you find that that's more comfortable. Again, just making sure you keep those knees together and really pulling up that heel towards your bum. 
Next up, we've got a lumbar stretch. So with this one, you want to make sure that you keep your hands out and then we'll just bring in one leg over, trying to keep those shoulders on the floor and then bring in your hand over to pull on the leg to keep that part down. You want to try and keep those shoulders on the floor as you pull the leg down. So what you're going to see in a moment is as you pull the leg down, what happens is your shoulders can sort of want to move away from the ground. So as we come over here, what you're going to see is as that leg comes down and I grab the leg, you see my right shoulder is trying to come up. So you want to force that down with your other hand and that's going to ensure that you can maintain that stretch in the lower back. Next up, we've got a lion hamstring stretch. Now, this is a fantastic exercise to stretch off the hamstrings on the back of our body. And with this one, you wanna make sure that number one, you've got your hips on the floor so that your hips are not sort of elevated and that your back's on the floor. And you also wanna make sure that you grab your calf and you don't grab the joint between the knee and the back of your leg just because when you grab joints that can be really bad for the overall joint and the muscle so make sure you grab the calf keep those hips on the floor slowly pull that leg back and once you feel the tension let it ease off and you should have stretched your hamstrings out nice and good Next up, we're going to do a hip flexor stretch. Now, this is especially important if you kind of want to improve your squat. With this one, as you can see, I'm stretching off the right side of my hip flexor. and I'm actually grabbing the right side of my glute because tensing the glute is actually going to help you stretch out that hip flexor a little bit more. So as you can see here, what I'm doing, I'm stretching out the left side, pushing that hip forward, and I'm actually trying to contract my glute. Now, the more that you contract your glute, the more you're actually going to feel it in this exercise and in the hip flexor. So it's definitely a recommendation to make sure that you tense that glute when when doing this movement. We're now going to focus on the spine and move on to a prone extension. So with this one you want to lie, lie in the prone position, make sure your hands are on the mat and then slowly bringing your head up, trying to keep your belly button and put most of your stomach on the floor. Then what you slowly want to do is increase this range of motion. So as you can see there I'm opening my hands up a little bit more, trying to push myself up so I can increase that range, making sure again that that belly button stays on the floor. Even there as I move up, belly button staying on the floor, trying to maintain that position, slowly looking up towards the sky, and that's a good one. Next, we've got its tail wags, and essentially with this one, you want to hold the all fours position, and then just make sure that you bring your feet up and kind of wag your feet around like it's a tail. So this is going to be really good to help the lateral movement in the spine and really help mobilize the back. And yeah, this again is a fantastic exercise for your spine and one that I try and incorporate at least every single day when I can. Next up is the quadruped side bend. And this is very similar to the child's pose, but instead of moving our hands forward, we're gonna move our hands from left to right. So as you can see, they're bringing it to the middle, one, then the other, and then back out to the other side. Again, you wanna make sure that you're keeping that bum on the heels and just bringing those hands nice and slowly forward and to the side. You're really gonna feel this in your lats and also in part of your spine. Next up is a half pancake. So you wanna basically bring your leg out just like that. Bring the other heel in towards your thigh and then bring the arm out and try and laterally rotate. So essentially with this one, we wanna try and rotate out. That's gonna help engage our spine and just make us have a good stretch in our back as well. So as you can see, we're doing it from this side as well. What I'm trying to do is really twist around there. So my elbow is moving round and you're really going to feel that in your spine. It's a fantastic one. Keeping that leg straight and just making sure you keep that position. Next up, we've got an A-frame squat. Now with this one, the key is to kind of hold that A-frame position and then creep those hands forward into a squat position. You always want to be keeping your hands on the floor with this one. So as you see from here, what I'm trying to do is essentially keep those feet on the floor, stretch out those hamstrings, and then slowly creep those feet forward whilst the hands are on the floor, and then hold that squat position. When you do this quite a lot, what you're going to find is you're slowly going to increase the range of your squat and also the range of what you can stretch for your hamstrings, uh, which is always good. Finally, we're going to finish with some side lying rotations. This is fantastic for your spine. So bringing the hands over and then bringing that hand over our back and our shoulder to stretch out that lat and also part of our spine. So as you can see there, that hand coming over and then back to a little clap, trying to keep that knee fixed as well. 
the one that's over as we move over so we can hold that stretch. So that's going to conclude today's video guys. I hope that you found it useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.